Hello, this is Gary Crowley with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com and this is video four of four videos for upper right back pain uh, relief. And uh, in video one, we did a lot of work on those upper right uh, back muscles. Video two, we released the stuff in the front of your chest that can be yanking on that upper right back. Video three, we released all these big muscles that yank on your uh, shoulder blade and can make that uh, upper right back pain appear. And lastly, now we're going to do um, basically your neck, uh, your lower neck, and your upper upper shoulder, uh, where you're basically the intersection of your neck and shoulder. That sometimes, if that stuff's tight, it can be causing your upper right back pain. So, um, again, on the techniques page of my website, I show you how to do the press pull release technique. And, um, and the press hold move technique. You may, if you're on video four here, you're probably already familiar with them, but I just want to remind you. But we're just going to start at the top of your neck and we're just going to notice with my fingertips, you know, how tight it is. You can do both actually if you want, but, um, but since we're on the upper, since we're focusing on that upper right, you might want to notice how tight this is. And then you can do, now with the neck, I tend to do a little press pull release, press pull release. Again, like you're working with clay, not massaging it. You want to stretch it like it's clay. Grab a layer, stretch it, grab a layer, stretch it. Or press hold move, press on a tender spot, move that neck. I tend to, if you watch me when I'm not on video or even now, I will tend to do a little of both. I'll do a little press for release. I'll do a little press hold move. I almost do a little, when you get a little more comfortable, you kind of do them together a little bit sometimes because your neck, pretty sensitive, it's got a lot of awareness and that little tension that was there just kind of let go for me and then I move down. So tender spot, tender spot till it releases, move down a little bit. Now I start getting my mid neck, I mean you can do it up here, you can feel free to do to do the press, the hand on hand technique where you're basically taking those fingertips and pressing on them with your the palm of your other hand just to get more pressure in there and I'm just Press, pull, release, press, pull, release, and I press in there with my other fingertips on top of my fingertips. And then I get down here. Can't quite, well, I can still get over there a little bit. Okay, so right here at that very, that intersection of your neck and your shoulder, usually a lot of people are really tight there. Again, I blame modern living. For all I know, uh, Paleolithic man had this too, but I don't think so because he walked 8 to 10 miles a day and didn't sit in front of a computer. Or drive a car but you can come in here you can even get in here with your other hand do a little press pull release press pull release press pull release do a little press hold move now personally I like I kind of hang this see why you can kind of hang your arm here and get that pressure just from basically your shoulders helping you pull down a little bit but you press in there move your neck around press pull release press pull release and I have a little tension there that has now been released and again I'm just I'm just grabbing that tissue, press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release. And we're just going all the way up here. And then, just check this, just in case, just come out here a little bit to your shoulder. If it's really tight here, you know, do a little of that. Press, hold, move. That's a, this is a muscle called your supraspinatus. Probably not a big player in upper right back pain, but just let's just make sure. You can turn, you can tilt, you just press, hold, move. Press pull release, and in here you kind of get. Now I'm kind of getting that upper, that upper trap a little bit. Just poke around here on this, along this upper ridge. Just notice what you feel. If there's some tenderness there, especially back here, that starts to become your trap a little bit. Just dig in there a little bit. Get my silly collar out of the way. Um, but that's the deal. And you can press hold, move that if you want. You can press pull release, but that's what we're after. We're after this upper neck, and if you're really up for bonus points, you can just do both of them, because, you know, it'll only help. But um, start that upper neck, release whatever's there, mid neck, lower neck, intersection of the, of the neck and shoulder, and then come out a little bit and just, just check on those, because your trap that is basically makes up a lot of your upper back is up here. And you, can, you know, you kind of get in there a little bit, make sure that's free. And um, 
because it's hard to get with this with the tennis ball that we started with, a little easier to get with your fingers. So, um, so that is, um, that's video four of four. So now, uh, first self-assess for this video, boy, did doing that upper neck suddenly release everything down here? Well, then you know that that is one of your magic buttons. Other people, it won't be. Um, but um, self-assess how much that helped. Self-assess if there was extra tension here that needs to be released, that you need to go back and release. And then, now do the full kind of review of all four videos. Did video one, did it have all the magic? Or did video two, or video three, or video four? And notice those spots that really helped you, and notice the spots that are still really tight. Because if you go back and release those spots that are still really tight, um, it'll probably help immensely with the getting rid of more, uh, getting more pain relief, but it also uh, will make, even if you don't have pain right now, it'll make everything more stable and ideally uh, it'll, it'll keep you from re-experiencing your upper right back pain. Because basically your body wants space and freedom and short and tight tissue uh, restricts the ability of joints and nerves and everything to do what they want to do and all we're really doing is re-establishing that space and freedom in this whole area of your body so that that upper right back pain can go away. So, um, I thank you for your time and uh, I look forward to hearing how it all went and I, uh, I do hope this helped. Thank you.